This is where I run. I'm less than a mile from my house, and last night I had an accident in my Tesla. My Tesla was on autopilot, and it plowed into a deer in my lane. There were no cars behind me. It did not attempt to slow down or stop, and I'll show you the footage in a second. But first, I love my Tesla. I got a full self-driving Model 3 in June 2021. It's incredibly fun to drive. I love that I haven't been to a gas station in months. And if you watch my channel, you know that there was a snafu shortly after delivery. The high voltage connector wasn't seated properly. After that was fixed, it's given me no other problems. I've driven about 5,000 miles and I regularly use autopilot. On that first day, engaging auto steer was nerve wracking. I, I could not believe that the car would stay between the lines on its own. I hovered like an anxious parent. And I knew that most Tesla accidents happen because of driver inattention on autopilot. But that won't happen to me, except that it will because of how the human brain works. The human brain has a remarkable ability to filter out information that it deems unimportant. In my iPhone data recovery trainings, I use an example to help students learn to use the microscope. Here's what I tell them. When you sit in the chair that you're sitting in now, the neurons in your backside fired. I detect pressure, chair is engaged. And in every minute since, those same neurons have been firing the same message. However, your brain has deemed that signal unimportant and it's prevented that signal from reaching your awareness. And when you first look in a microscope, it feels weird because your brain has to figure out what is important and what to filter. So just give it some time and looking in the scope becomes totally natural for everyone. And it's true, we become accustomed to bad smells, loud noise, even our innate reflexes stop working when we see the same stimulus again and again. Psychologists call it habituation the diminishing of a physiological or emotional response to a frequently repeated stimulus. So as one Tesla autopilot mile becomes 50, 500, 5,000, the behavior of your brain changes. It offloads the cognitive burden of driving to the autopilot, even when you have your hands on the wheel looking straight ahead. You're there, but not quite in the same way. You become quasi aware. You lose that quick instinctive response that insurance companies know is the magic that separates careful adult drivers from inexperienced teens. Your brain cannot turn off habituation. It will put too much trust in autopilot. You can't do anything about that. And that can be disastrous. It happened to me last night. The car was driving me home from the gym. I was there. My hand was on the wheel. I was almost home. I was looking straight ahead. The car wasn't speeding, but I didn't see or react to the deer and neither did my Tesla in all its grand technology. Well, except my Tesla did see it. <laughs> the camera recorded the deer waltzing into the lane but the car did not break. No one was behind me. It did nothing. The deer was in the lane and the car did not react. My Tesla plowed into the deer as if it was nothing. And today I'm really shaken and sad. What if this had been a runner who had tripped and fallen? What if this had been someone's dog? What if it had been a child? Autopilot is amazing technology, but it is imperfect. And because of how our brains work, we can't just simply just pay attention. Autopilot must do better. It must be perfect. Okay.